Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. We're heading out to the north end of Vanderbilt Beach right now. It's about 6.45 a.m. 68 degrees. Today's high. It's going to get oh, up to somewhere around 83, 85 here in North Naples. That forecast changes every hour. Water temperature 78. Tides still going out. Low tides a little after 8 o'clock this morning. Here in North Naples. This is going to be our first look at the beach. Go check things out here. Gosh, it's quiet. It's kind of calm this morning. Water sounds calm. Yes. I can smell the decaying fish, that's for sure. Not a pleasant smell. I haven't smelled the red tide though yet. Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Closed until further notice, the park and its beach. Stay out, stay out, stay out. Trust me, nobody wants to see that place open more than I do. I got a feeling they're just gonna keep it closed through turtle season, through turtle nesting season. Give the turtles some peace and quiet. Looks like the tractor's already made its rounds here with the rake. Cleaning up the beach the best they can before it gets busy. So far, no stink of red tide. The wind is kind of in our favor now. It's kind of coming out of the east, northeast. Later this afternoon, it's going to shift around to the more of the west for a little while. Clear skies this morning. Partly cloudy, oh, around 2, 3 o'clock. About an hour away from low tide, a little more than an hour away from low tide now. So far, not a, a lot of dead fish on the beach. Looks like they're getting them cleaned off here. That is good news. You can definitely smell them though. See if there's any up here higher on the beach. I think the tractor's done for the day. I don't see any headlights down there. looking pretty good out here. Looking pretty good, smelling pretty good compared to last week. <laughs> this time it was terrible. Let's hope it stays like this throughout the day.
hit that share button so everybody can see what's going on all of our friends that are curious about what's going on with red tide and all of our friends that want to maybe come out to the beach for the morning down here at bluebell not bad According to the red tide forecast yesterday, it was a low amounts of red tide, HABs they call them, a low amount in the water today, that was their forecast. The other day it was high. Oh, it'd be nice if this red tide was moving on, moving away, but when you see some of the aerial photography, it doesn't look very good out there offshore. Hey, good morning, Beth, good morning. I can barely see that comment on my screen, but I saw it. Good morning, Beth. YouTube's just not as friendly for the social aspect of things as Facebook, unfortunately. Boy, it's calm out here this morning. I love it. Love it, love it. A couple little waves. You can see them just gently breaking over the sandbar every now and then out there. Every now and then you'll see a little ripple out here in the water. Oh, the beach is much cleaner this morning, much, much cleaner as far as dead fish go. Man, much better. Maybe just a couple here and there. These things are, I thought they were indestructible. These horseshoe crabs, there's a horseshoe crab. It's a big guy. It is. I wonder if he's... Yeah. Sometimes you'll just find the exoskeleton, the shell on the beach, but sadly that's one that's come to the red tide. Sad. Sad, sad. Those things go back to prehistoric days, those horseshoe crabs. Nice glow on the horizon over there. Nice glow. The sun is coming up just over by the condo on the left, over on the edge there. Beautiful, 
Beautiful, beautiful. So I'm guessing most of the dead fish have been scraped up by the rake or are up a little higher on the beach, kind of buried in the sand because I am not seeing anything on this beach here down along by the water. Nice hard ground here to walk on too, by the way, nice and hard with the tide being out. Easy walking. All right, so far, so good. So far, so good. I don't know, what would it be on a five-star rating this morning? Maybe a two and a half, because the tide, red tide's still here, but at least we don't smell it. It's just nice being able to be out at the beach even with the red tide most of the time. <laughs> I just didn't feel like dealing with it yesterday. It's just. It's getting kind of depressing coming out here, walking the beach, seeing the dead fish, smelling the red tide. moon has kind of disappeared. We saw it earlier. It's out. Yeah, it's really hard to see. It's right out in the air. It's really hard to see. It's kind of hazy out there, kind of cloudy. We got a good look at it. During my first live feed from on top of the bridge this morning, my Facebook live feed, we got a peak at the moon, almost a full moon still. All right, I'm going to make the switch over to my Southwest Florida Television Facebook page to continue my Thursday morning beach walk here on Vanderbilt Beach. I hope to see you there. Remember, if you like what you see, tell your friends. Subscribe, not only here on YouTube, but on Facebook as well. Remember, tips always appreciated, greatly appreciated. If you enjoy my updates and my videos, Think about sending a star every now uh, tip a star. You can send stars on Facebook. If you're watching the replay on Facebook. I get a penny for each star that you send in my videos. Tips. You can send them to my PayPal account. Not looking to get rich, just looking to survive here and be able to continue to live here and continue my videos and beach walks. Getting kind of scary. Place is getting expensive, ridiculously expensive. Housing, astronomical here now. All right, thanks for hanging out with me this morning. Hopefully, I'll see you on Facebook. If not, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks for being a friend. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy and stay strong. Tally-ho, everyone. Tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.